Oh, hell no. Excuse me. Our couples are seeing what it's like to lose a spouse in order that they might have a marriage-saving breakthrough. But Melissa is refusing to participate in a time when her marriage desperately needs emotional help. Let's just talk right here. No, no, excuse me. No, I don't care what David says. I'm not getting in the coffin. No. Let me talk to you for just a minute. This exercise is it's not for you, it's for him. This is going to make a big impact in your relationship just for him to see you in this situation. I don't need to lay down and play dead in a coffin for my husband to appreciate me. I can do a hundred other things. That is not one of them, and it's something I won't do. You just got to pretend it's a tannin booth. You can't play tannin. There's nothing else no, you can do. That that you got to do it. No, that, that's crazy. Right there. No. I knew these are hard, sweetie. I don't know how to tell you people this enough. That I'm not doing that. It honestly, we don't joke like that. And it, no. Well, this is not a joke. Life and death is very, very real. But I'm not doing it. And what if Chris were in the coffin? I'm not going up there either. So everybody else did. Then everybody. they have mental issues and they just don't care. And that's your experience of these people that they're, they're sick? I don't care at all that everybody else got in, in that coffin. They're weird. They're, some mental issues there that allow you to get inside a coffin and play dead.